Hey everybody. Hello. We're gonna have a, a relaxing evening. We're going to enjoy some music at Port Orleans Riverside with Chelsea and Kristen. It's a piano bar that I've never been to. Never I've heard of it. I've stayed at Port Orleans countless times. So we're excited. But you can't tell I'm a little sopping wet because <laughs> it's pouring out because we were just at the post office um, sending off some packages and I brought in the vloggy and I set it on like behind the um, the computer where Peter was doing everything and I had other stuff in my hand when we left and totally forgot to take it so we left we got like <laughs> seven miles away on I-4 and I'm like oh I'm usually the person who has like vlogging like our vlog camera in our pocket or like in yeah. and I have them like even though we've only been here through in this car for three weeks I have like very specific spots of where I put my stuff not OCD or anything at all <laughs> but I do and I looked over and I was like well my wallet's usually not there usually the vlog camera's there and well it's not there and I was like wait do you have the camera I brought it in and Sarah I was brought it about in. Being in the car and uh so for a brief moment of time we were in, and we were it started in pouring like right as we left so like we're like seven miles closer like we literally just got to Disney property from this post office and we realized the vlog cameras at the post office. Whoops! We're just lucky. It was like and we got that's back. the thing is like nobody took it because it was kind of in like it was it was spot. kind of hidden, but it was still scary for a minute because I mean it's by no means a professional grade camera, but the camera is like six hundred dollars, and that's six hundred dollars that nobody wants to spend just yeah when you because they forgot it. something. So okay, let's go to Disney now. <laughs> but we're okay, and we're gonna have I a good night. Feel better. You're gonna feel better in like three minutes when we get to Disney. Okay. <laughs> the horses are hiding from the rain. What didn't you if you had to um, the outside? Guys, I don't know. There's like huge puddles out there. That we were like, there was no point. Ah, there was no point we were slumping through them. We're so checking out the gift shop because it's one of our favorites but before it gets too busy right now or even later tonight I wanted to show you the main reason why we were here and it was not contrary to belief right now to hide from all of the storm the rain and thunder but we wanted to come here to the river roost spirits invictions it's right in you come right in through the main entrance you can check in over there and you can join, check out the River Roost right over here. There's really nice leather couches and chairs and tables, fire, and over there is a piano, which is the reason why we're coming here tonight. Oh, here's Nate. Here he is. Bob Jackson has been with us at Port Orleans for over 10 years. He has friends from around the globe. His show is family oriented with lots of audience and participation and sing alongs. Children are always welcome. Bob performs Wednesday through Saturday from 8 30 to midnight. Since we got some time to look around and enjoy the resort, here is the wonderfully lavish looking um, like front desk check-in area. You've got all of the, they're not called counties, I think they're called parishes in New Orleans. This was Sarah's like home, home, home for Disney. Six-year-old Sarah running around this little lobby enjoying first trip. This is the hallway from the entrance I showed you with the river roost right here. And down here is like their cafeteria. Their, not cafeteria, their, their food court with all the quick service. This is Boat Rides Dining Hall. That's sit down, table service, delicious menu, very fishy. It smell, it literally, I feel like it's, it's bringing you back. But this is a delicious food court here. And you know, all this seating and all this cool theming, it's, it's very nice in here and a lot of accommodating spots and sits and lots of different kinds of food. Because we live here, we can't go out to eat all the time here in Disney. So like we'll eat dinner and come to the parks or on the weekends we'll pack a lunch or snack to bring with us to the parks or resorts. But I'm just the wired. Get here. The second we're on Disney property, we are bottomless pits. We can just keep eating and eating and eating. Kristen 
for just a little bit. They're gonna be here a little bit later. We planned on getting a snack at the bar, but there was something that caught our eye here that we're gonna get instead. And we found out that we've got a bunch of money. Not a bunch of money, <laughs> but I had a gift card in my wallet that I thought was just used up from our February trip that we actually never used. So we have like 15 bucks on there. And then I forgot that we had some like Disney Awards redemptions because of our credit card. So it's like a, a, little treat. a freebie night. <laughs> We're gonna get the Bayou Burger. No, Bayou. Chopped rice prime rib. Yeah. A beer, beer fondue and housemade pickles. Look at this delicious burger. Here's our Bayou Burger. Got pickles, prime rib, burger. The yeah. freshest French fries ever because the cast member is from Illinois. She goes to Northern Illinois, which my sister just moved into yesterday. And a pop. And it was fourteen thirty-seven. No discounts. But they did have packets of Ken's Ranch, which I'm not going to eat with the burger. But I love this stuff, so we're... Well, then we're just taking one home. So we're going to take one home to eat at a later date. Because Sarah's going to eat one now. Because she loves her assorted sauces. Yeah, I so like... she's got to have... It's called a dipping station. <laughs> and it's classic Disney World etiquette to have a proper dipping station at any quick service restaurant. So we usually don't show you the food while we're eating it, but look at how good this looks. Look at that cheese and that prime rib on that burger. This is delicious. Wait, I think we got the wrong thing. Why? There's pickles on there and there's prime rib. This is this is right. Oh, there's like something. Oh, there was prime rib on top of the burger. Yeah, it's not I a prime rib burger. burger no, prime, oh. prime rib on, with the pickles. It's really really good. The cheese is super good. All right. Okay. You're gonna eat a booger. <laughs> you just said I'm gonna eat a booger. No, I said if you're okay. <laughs> when Sarah has sodium, this necklace gets tight and it, it flips up and down as she talks. <laughs> so just watch it throughout the vlog. Okay, what am I gonna eat? You're going to eat a burger on Walt Disney World no, yeah, Come to the Riverside now. At Portland's Riverside. Oh, Can she get through this without giggling? <laughs> Yes, because it was so good. The prime rib on it was delicious. And <laughs> 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 you're going to talk louder because <laughs> we've gotten comments that you can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> I This all has to stay in. Okay. It's, it's a delicious burger. Needless to say, it's very Cheese, good. Pickles. Prime rib on top of a burger. And usually when you get a burger like that, they don't put a lot of the prime rib on there because it's like expensive, fancy meat. But they did uh, the perfect amount just to get good flavor. It's delicious. I eat, like seriously come here and buy. You did. I'm telling that. You're gonna come back and buy one again? Yeah. When? Those menus just change so often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mama Od. <laughs> So it is a half hour till showtime, but we grabbed a seat. Here's a little stage that Bob's gonna perform on. Super excited. Look at this cool old open piano with all this luggage over here. Sarah went to go grab a pop, and Chelsea and Kristen are on their way now. Sarah, the night's ruined. It's sad. Bob's not here. The person that is like well known for playing on this piano. Um, but the waitress promised that Mark Bob's on vacation. Don't know why he's not here because he's in the vacation hub of the world. Is vacation. True. But I got this Abita flight. Abita is a brewing company from New Orleans. And I got their flight. And this, this thing right here was like eight bucks. And look at these. These are good size. In Chicago, you get an eight dollar flight and they'd be like half shot glasses of beer. This is our you lied. Make up for you. You lied. You all lied. This is our you said table. Bob's always here. Bob's not here. What the heck? Mark is here. Who the heck? He better be old and funny. He's on vacation. Bob's on vacation. Bob's He's in Disney World. He can't go on vacation. He works at Disney World. So we got good news. We were nervous because Bob was not here today, and that's the reason why we came here. But Mark is here. And who is Mark? He's the cowboy from my college program. He's great. So we're excited. There's Mark. I'm gonna play the guitar one song, and then the piano one song, and then whatever you want to hear next. You, you specifically, so if you're thinking about what you want to hear. <laughs> Sarah. 
Uh, Say who picked this. It was Chelsea's pick. Woo! John, I'm going to have Charlie. Charlie and I are tight. Yeah, he's from Jersey. Yeah, no. And Sarah, have you met Sarah? No. Sarah, where are you from? Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. Oh. Woo! John, give me a song. Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry. Mark's taking a break. What do we think of Mark? Woo! We're staying until 12 tomorrow. No. He's great. Yeah. I think he misheard me. I said Bob who when you need who needs Bob when you have Mark and he said Bob's not here. I think he didn't hear me fully. This is Old Man Swim the Hole. Old Man Swim the Hole. That's not the official name. No. But that's what Sarah and her family called it growing up. Yeah. It's really called this Old Man Island, but we call it Old Man Swim the Hole. It is a really fun pool to swim it at. It is. Like, there's so many waterfalls and fountains and... And it's, like, good depth. It's, like, yeah. good for, like, it's a deeper depth for kids. How cute it is. But a nice depth for adults. It's just relaxing. And it's yeah. big. It's huge. But this, so, yeah. is, this is a historical place where we first got the lava smoothie. It was like the first time I ever had a magic band. We were here with Sarah's family. First time any of us had a magic band. And I walked over and I was like, whoa, like, I don't need my wallet. I just got out of the pool. My magic band is pen. on. Let me walk over and I was like, oh, I'm going to buy it with my magic band just yeah. for fun. And I was like, what's on here? Um, I was 21, I think, but I wasn't like comfortable yet buying alcohol. Not yeah. at dinner, like around Sarah's family yet, because yeah. I might have been 21. Yeah. So I was like, oh, what's this non-alcoholic drink? That's a lava smoothie. It sounds like Sarah would like it. I'm going to just get two. And it was Well, I was there, and then we brought it back because we were like sitting in the corner, like our family, and everyone was taking a drink of it, and then soon enough, everyone got up and got one for themselves. Yeah, like, literally all like, good there. six of us got them. Yeah. So this is where we were. And it's so special because it's all man swimming hole. All man swimming hole. We're just walking around now. It was way too rainy before to do any exploring when we first got here. We just kind of hung out in the lobby. We went to go see Bob play, but Bob wasn't here. He's on vacation, so Mark was there. And it was, it was an incredible surprise. night yeah. and a great show. It's probably one of my favorite nights since we've been here. And it was a, one of those things that we talked about, like that is the magic of Disney. Like, that's the little things that people don't 
who don't know Disney or even people who go to Disney but don't venture outside of the normal park things like don't get because right. we didn't see a single Mickey Mouse tonight. We didn't hear any Disney songs. It was us two and two of our friends around like maybe 15 other people. Yeah. They were just eating singing good, food, eating good singing food, music. singing good piano and guitar songs. And it was just yeah. an incredible night. Like if I went to work on Monday and they're like, what'd you do Saturday? I'm like, oh, I went to piano bar. Like, oh, where'd, where, where'd you go to a piano bar? Like you're new to this area. I'm like, oh, just uh, Riverside. You know, Port Orleans Riverside, and they'd be like, what? And they wouldn't even know, probably. Yeah. But it's just, there's so much, there's magic for all shapes and sizes here. I think Peter just kept on talking and talking so that my arm would get really tired because I'm usually not the one over here. <laughs> oh, I did have... I'm tired, I, I gotta go down. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Okay, so I was gonna keep the part where the camera fell because that was no exaggeration. <laughs> she literally, literally, her arm gave up. <laughs> I wonder <if> <laughs> it makes me feel proud of my vloggy arms that I'm they're strong. Uh, height doesn't have much to yes, do with. Yes, it does. If you're lifting your arm higher, it hurts more than if it's. Well, okay. <laughs> Up angles. <laughs> but it's true. Like, but if you notice, everybody like Sarah's always on my right. Except for when we take photos, you're on my left. Yeah, it's my good side. But how come you're on my? Because you use oh, because I'm using because you're seeing her left side, which is her, what she says is her good side, because she's <laughs> ridiculous. Old Man Island. Oh, it's fine. This is the legend of Old Man Island. Hold on. This is the legend of Old Man Island, settled in 1835 by a young man. The island became a home, his home in this solitude of the Going bayou down country. The bayou. Years later, a riverside was settled and prospered. Old Man Island was discovered by the children of the town. They would steal away to play on the island where a wondrous world had been created. The island is a tribute to the old man and the happiness he gave the children and all the riverside neighborhoods. We made it home because we got to spend the last few minutes of our day with Eve because it's National Dog Day. <laughs> but she's sleepy and tired. She's looking up at it like, what? She's like, what's going on with that camera? But it, we'll see what... Tomorrow's adventure brings with it being Sunday. We think we're gonna to try to get this taken hey, care of. But with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Don't forget to talk to us in the comments. We love yeah. we love that stuff. We really do. And then press that subscribe and if tell you want to see. Us about like any hidden gems like this piano bar. Right yeah, if you know anything you else know about, in, like, in Disney places. or near Disney, like that's what we we enjoy that just as much as going on Splash Mountain at Magic Kingdom or watching the fireworks. Like that is the magic to us, so Please let us know about all the little gems. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>